everyone, this is Angie with Angie's Crafting with Diamonds here on YouTube and Instagram. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different kind of unboxing and I'm going to show you the kits that I have by the artist Dimitra Van Milan and it says Copyright Milan Art LLC. So I have three kits today from her from licensed by Diamond Art Club, two rounds and a square. One of these I have opened before, but I still think it's worth looking at. And I'll show you a toolkit because, you know, one of these is, hasn't been opened before. The others have because before I had a channel, I would normally open my kits to make sure the contents matched what I had ordered. So let's get into it. So the first one I'm going to open is Abundant Dreams. Um, this one is 56 by 56 in round. And I know there's no toolkit in here. I usually take them all out. And I am going to be cleaning this one up soon. But I just thought, hey, wouldn't it be fun to do an unboxing from all the same artists? Just so there's a little theme there because I really, really hope that they keep this artist because I haven't seen any new art from her in a while. So I thought if I throw this out here, maybe it would stir up some interest. So there's the old style step-by-step -step instructions and there's the sticker. And we have the sticker sheet that comes with the removable stickers. There are four AB drills in here. Anything numbered under 150 is uh, an AB for Diamond Art Club. And isn't she gorgeous? She is beautiful. I think she is just beautiful. And look at the colors in here, you guys. Aren't they great? Sorry about that. My phone was ringing. So anyway, yeah, taking a look at the drills for this. Aren't they pretty? Look at the colors in there. Let's take a quick look at the canvas because that's mostly what we're here for. And if you're newer to Diamond Art Club, you might not be used to the way this particular canvas was printed because I believe they've changed how. And I just, I had forgotten all about that until I opened this. That it's just printed opposite. So the drill placings are rounded out in. So when you, you have to match it up a little bit more. But I don't mind it either way. Isn't she beautiful? And this is such a nice size. I think I'm going to completely crystallize this kit, actually. I have plans for it. Yeah, isn't she great? Look at her face. Let's take a quick look at the drills. Now, this is bad, because now I want to kit her up again. I keep opening her and looking at her, and then I don't do it. I'm not sure why. But I have lots of round kits kind of on the go right now. So I'll just go through the colors and look at that massive bag of white ABs. For the size of the kit, that is a big bag. Great colors in here. Nice and vibrant. And I don't normally read out the colors, but look at this 126. Isn't that pretty? Look at the color in that. I love that. And some more accent fun colors. Oh, and there's our other AB. It's yellow. Yellow. I think we have one more coming up. It should be an orange or a red AB based on a legend. And if I don't find it, there it is. Oh, I should probably flip through these the other way. <laughs> so you didn't see the numbers. In case you're a number person, you might want to see it. This is the 133. This is a really pretty one, too. Really pretty. Yeah, I love this kit. So that is it for Abundant Dreams. Isn't she beautiful? And of course, you have your two legends on either side. And you have, you know, your good cover sheet with your excellent glue. 
got all of your socials down below, all of your branding. It's all marked that this artist is being properly compensated. And yeah, she's great. So I'll be right back with the next one. So this next one I've also opened before, but I promise I have another one that I haven't opened yet. So we'll look at the toolkit in that one. This is Ringing Fire, and it is 51 by 69 centimeters, and it's in square. And like I was saying before, all the scan codes are on the box, and all the directions on how to diamond paint are in the box. And I have peeked in this one before. And if there's a toolkit, we'll take a look. But I don't know if there is or not. Ooh, look what comes in her. Her Milan Art Cup. This is cool. I don't remember this. There's another one of her pictures. I love this. This is beautiful. This is cool. Look at that. There's a scan code there. So if you want to scan that, you can go and see her art. I'll hold it still for a sec. There you go. So look at, oh my gosh, this one. Look at this on the corner. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now this should be a Diamond Art Club plate piece as well. And look at this pretty one up at the top. That is, that is beautiful. So, and there's the sticker for this particular kit. Let's see, what else have you got in here? I don't see a toolkit here. I, I know I got one. I always, always get one, right? But I haven't looked in here in ages. Maybe I stuck it inside. I never understood why the toolkits are separate. Maybe it's just the, pers the way that they roll them up and put them in the box. Yeah, I don't think there's a toolkit in here, but it's in its dust cover. And it's all nice and clean. And there's the drills. Now, that's a nice color palette too. Look at that. And of course it's marked in case you don't want to work on it or keep it stored with your with your canvas right away. You've got, got options, right? So we'll take a look at those. I'm actually not sure if I want to open these because I just had a lot of trouble putting away those round ones. I think about it. <laughs> here is the sticker sheet. There are 62 colors in here and there are one, two, three, four ABs. It looks like a lemony yellow, an orange. In fact, that's the same orange we just looked at, that 133, a blue 137 and a white 141. Isn't that just a gorgeous image? I just love it. I love abstract art. I just love it. So I'm going to roll it backwards. And this kit is square and it's poured glue. Just roll it backwards because we can. Let's see here. Wow, look at her. I'm gonna turn it around this way. Well, no, this way's probably good. Just zoom out a little bit. There, that's better. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I just love this. So we have our legends down both sides. We have our sparkle canvas, which is poked and surged on the edges. We'll double check the glue. And as usual, it's good. I've never had issues. And look at how clear the printing is on this. I just, yeah, there's never an issue. The quality is always top notch with Diamond Art Club. And I'm loving the rendering on the parrot. Isn't he fantastic? He or she. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at her face and her lips. I think this is great rendering. Wow. Okay, so now, because of all that, now I want to look, now I want to look at the drills. So I'll just pause it while I open the bag. Here we are back. So as per before, I like to pan through the trains. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to put this back in the box, isn't it? So we have two bags of black, 310. Lots of blues. 
There's lots of color in this kit. Look at that, what's $7.41. That's a color I really like. This is a really long tray. <laughs> Look at that, $4.98. Ooh, and there's that $1.33 I was talking about. Isn't that beautiful? It matches my nails. The coating matches my nails. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Wow, that's great. And that 133 is symbol number two. And I can see it in all in this design around the outside here, but it's just in there. All in over here. Be beautiful. So this must be the fire. Raining fire. Yeah, all in here and in here down here is where those are. Go through the next. Oh, we've got some nice purples and some reds. I love that red. Pink and yellow. There's our bag of 141 whites, which I'm going to guess they are the symbol number four. Where is symbol number four? Oh, it's down in here. All in these highlights and in the parrot's face. That's super fun. I like that. And there are no ABs in her face. But I see some here, up in here in her hair, which is fine. And there's our other AB, a really nice yellow AB, 129. That's a really pretty one. I've had that one before. And that's the symbol number one. And that's in the bird. And this ring around the fire and into her hand here. I see all these yellows. So that's awesome. And there's our blue AB, which is symbol number three. Let's take a look where that is. Symbol number three. Where are you hiding? You have to be in the bird. Of course, in his beak, in their beak. Here we go, we've got number threes all through the parrot. So that's gonna be really nice. That bird has three different color of ABs in it. The only thing it doesn't have are the reds and the reds are over here. Yeah, cool. One more train to take a look at. That's a nice 742, I like that color too. I'm looking, liking these these colors. This is a great kit. I'm really going to enjoy this when I get time to work on it. It's one I'm going to keep in my stash. So this is not, I know I've been uh, selling some of my kits on the Canada D-Stash website. This is not going to be D-Stashed. None of these three that you see are being D-Stashed at the moment. I actually am looking forward to working on them. <laughs> so I'll be back with the next one. So the last one I have, I have not yet opened. I just received this from Diamond Art Club quite recently. This is Steadfast Heart and it is 56 by 74 in round, as we can tell from the pink circle. And you have the scan codes and all the directions on how to diamond paint on the back if you need it. I'm going to pause and take everything out of the box so you don't have to watch the struggle. Can't see you in a sec. You know, I'm back. And I just wanted to show you the end of the box, which is unusual for Diamond Art Club. There is, this is a branded box that came with all three of these kits. So I think it's worth mentioning because it's a little bit different. And this scan code must be to go to the Milan Art Institute. So that's what it says there, if you can see it. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to check that out later. This kit also came with this brochure, which we looked at the previous kit. And I'm sure it was in the very first one that I showed you, but I opened that, I opened that kit ages ago and I probably misplaced this. But isn't that, I still, I still love that. I love that. We need Diamond Art Club to do this one. Look at the butterfly hiding inside the horse. You see that? And look at this beautiful woman down here with the flowers. That's fantastic. 
Maybe it has come out before I just wasn't diamond painting. I don't know. Anyway, beautiful art. Absolutely beautiful. So we have our sticker for the end of our box or your journal that you normally go in my journal. We have a toolkit and as promised, I'm going to open the toolkit. Now I think the other two kits when I bought them came with the old style toolkit. So this will be a new style, newer style toolkit. I'm not sure what version. There's our pen. And it will not have tweezers in it because this is a round kit. So we'll just go through the contents and that's it. And the bags don't have to be ripped. They actually have Ziploc in the top, resealable bags. So we have our pen and squishy with our four and seven placers, which I love. And they can be used for multi-placing. They're great for color blocking and long lines of color. There. And if you don't know how to do multi-placing, I have a video in my playlist that shows you how to do that. And also have a video of how to diamond paint if you've never diamond painted before. Diamond Art Club also comes with two patties of wax inside this hard caddy and there's plastic on the outside if you've never diamond painted before you actually need to remove that before you put your pen into it there we go we also have our bag of baggies for storing and or kitting up there won't be enough in there to kit up with but it will help you if you have some leftovers or things you need to do uh, there's washi tape in here for sectioning off or the edges where the glue might have a little bit of overage. There is a cover minder in here. It's a really cute little daisy. There's a magnet on the back that you can use to hold back your plastic that's on the top of the canvas while you're working on it. And then we have our Diamond Art Club tray. There are multiple versions of this tray. There's also a clear tray with gold sparkles. And then there was a whole other tray before this, and I don't have one of those handy to show you right now. But yeah, this is, I think, believe the current tray in most kits. And there is a stopper here so that when you shake your drills gently this way to line them up, you don't have drills ejecting from the end. So I'm going to move this all over and we'll take a look. We'll take a look inside. So we have Diamond Art Club and it's branded dust cover. And I uh, don't always, yeah, no. I can, I can almost never open these without ripping them. Because I know I'm not gonna destash this, I'm just gonna cut the bag to save myself the pain. And you watching the suffering of the opening said bag. And I can still flip that over to reclose it. And I put it back in my the box. I store my kits in their boxes for the most part. A while ago, I got rid of some boxes and I'm sorry that I did. <laughs> we have our enclosure. This is the newer one that shows you instructions on how to diamond paint and scan codes for discounts. And a thank you note from the founder of Diamond Art Club and information about the VIP group. We also have our sticker sheet and this one is loaded. It has 66 colors and three ABs. It looks like a blue, an orange and a white. Steadfast Heart by Milan Art or Dietrich Milan. Beautiful. This was on my wish list for a long, long time. So I finally got her the other day. So let's, I'm gonna roll this backwards, just cause it's easier to see it if I do that ahead of time, right? Let's take a look at her. Wow. Okay, so this one is also printed in the old style. Old, what's old? This is how they were printed a year ago. That's not old. <laughs> Sounds like it's 10 years ago or something. And it's not because Diamond Art Club is constantly changing what it does. Constantly. I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see her face and the tiger's face. 
because of my overhead light, which sometimes creates glare. And you can see we have our two legends down the side like we did on the other two kits and the branding at the top as well as the copyright and socials at the bottom with our sparkly canvas with these scalloped edges and whatnot. But look at how clear the printing is. It's as clear as a bell. Like, I just don't see any issues in here, as usual. And look at her face. Her face, I'm just gonna move it here. Maybe I'll zoom in and move her this way. Can you see her face? Look at how good the rendering is. That is, that is awesome. That's excellent rendering. And the tiger looks really good too. Wow, which one am I gonna do first? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit again so you can see the full picture. Just put this up a little. It's not really cooperating today. There we go. You can see her. Push her up a little bit so it's not right on her face. Look at the beautiful flowers down here too. This looks like fun. This is really light confetti with a little bit of color blocking. I'm not into color blocking at all. So to me, this is color blocking because I usually work on max color kits. And I like to do kits like this in between. So this is a great size at 56 by 74. That's my favorite size to work on. So here is the bag of drills. And I will pause this to Reduce the amount of crinkling. Just a sec, I'll be right back. So take a look inside. Look at the color palette in here. Isn't this wonderful? Let's just turn it this way. Maybe I'll have a little better luck panning through it by doing this. So we have a really nice full bag of this burgundy. Isn't this beautiful color? And one, two, three bags of 310, which makes sense because the tiger has has 10 and 10 has has lots of black in it accents here. That works. So 39, dark blue, some dark brown. Really nice colors. We have a nice big bag of 141 white ABs. And 141s are number three, so we'll take a look at those. Just a sec. We'll take a look at what the rest of the colors are first. Yeah, there's just nice bits of all kinds of color in here. Not a moment, not a dull moment. I don't see myself getting bored with this kit. Because everything looks like it'll be changing frequently. Lots of accent colors there. Now, we had three colors I'm missing. I only found the white, so I must have gone way too fast. So I'm gonna go back here. Oh, there's the 101 blue, light blue. Baby, isn't that pretty? I love that one. That is a number one. The whites were number three. Oh, the whites were number three, yeah. And the 132 is just a little bit of orange. This is super pretty too. I love this one. And I'm gonna guess, well, geez, I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna guess. It's the item number, item number. <laughs> it's on the legend, it's number two down here. So we're gonna look for number one, number two, and number three. So I'll just uh, pause it and then I'll put this to the side. Just to keep the video, not to get too long, because we've opened three kits today and looked over three of them. So we're looking for symbol number one, number two, and number three. You can see here, those are the A, B symbols. And I'm seeing, to put my glasses on, because I am farsighted, not nearsighted. So let's see, so we have number threes in here. And if I look at the art, they are, this is all part of the tiger. So there are number threes all along the bottom of his whiskers in here. 
That is fun. That'll look nice. And all up in here, the tiger has white ABs in, in them. And then number two is number 30. Number two is number 132 ABs. And I see some here. And I'm not sure where else, because maybe this is the main area here. It's just like a reflection. So that's interesting. Because it's abstract art, right? So it doesn't have to be logical or make sense. And symbol number one is a blue. And I wonder where the blues are. Hard to see because it's so abstract, right? Let's see. I thought they would be in the flowers, but they're not. Oh, they're in this flower over here. There's this sort of bluey gray flower over here on her face. If you can see that here, that flower has ABs. Oh, and look, she has ABs in her eyes. These light blue ones and some white ABs in her eyes as well. Well, I'm really going to enjoy working on this kit. I'm not exactly sure when, but if you enjoyed my unboxing, it was sort of an ad hoc, non... <laughs> non-traditional unboxing. If there is such a thing as a traditional unboxing, I'm not sure. But it's interesting that both round kits are printed in the quote old method. But you know, I don't mind that. I don't mind working on either way. Um, the new method has a little less uh, circle look to it. So there are finer circles for guiding your drills. But for beginners or some people just like to be able to see where their circles go. This is uh, definitely a benefit because you can see that there. It's very clear where you're placing them. I don't mind either way. I just really want to work on this art. I just love the abstract art. That is just so, so beautiful. So beautiful. So please like and subscribe and come back again. I'm glad you were here and I hope to see you again. Bye for now. This is Angie checking up. Bye.